Hi, I'm Rival. I've just completed my Agile Scrum training series and I thought it would be a great time to give my opinion on five positives and five negatives of Scrum. So we're going to start with negatives and first being having a dedicated Scrum master. So I feel that this is kind of an issue because Scrum needs a dedicated Scrum master for various things and um, I'm not going to get into that right now but every company who wants to practice Scrum doesn't necessarily have the resources to provide a dedicated scrum master and that could be you know personnel they just don't have the the actual resource or money to say look we're going to hire a specific scrum master so you know sometimes it's a, one of the devs is a scrum master or sometimes the product owner is a scrum master and i just feel that doesn't really work and it works against the principles of scrum and um i'm just not a fan of that i always feel that you know, there should be some sort of workaround for this in the methodology. Number two, members who do not understand. So you're going to get a lot of developers and designers who really don't care about the admin side of Scrum. They All they care about is they want to come into work and they want to code or they want to come into work and they want to design. And, you know, Scrum has a whole bunch of meetings. And, you know, as a designer, sometimes, you know, he just doesn't want to come into a sprint four hour sprint planning meeting. It's just not what he wants to do. That's just too admin orientated for him. He just wants to come in and design it. Who are we to say that no, you need to be an admin as well. You need to know these things. And some designers just don't like that. Some devs don't like that. And you know, um I feel that in every team there's gonna be one or two of those people. So Scrum is sort of forcing them to be in a room with uh, everyone else discussing admin stuff and it's not really what they want to do so I feel that there should be some work around for that as well and there's just none so not a fan of that. Number three, no influence on product. Um, there's a ton of meetings like I was just saying in Scrum but there's no meeting to say okay dev team uh, discuss with the product team about the direction of the product. So as a developer or as a designer you know I want to have and you know an actual influence on the actual direction the product is taking because there's no one um, no one who knows better about uh, let, let's say I'm a designer no one knows better about how to design an interface or a feature and what's good for that site besides the devs of the designers you know yes you can have a product team but sometimes you know not everyone in the product team is going to have a good understanding of how to put in a feature well, we can say, well, if we're going to have, I don't know, maybe like um, a related search feature or something, we're going to say, well, it can take X amount of days to do it. We're going to do it like this, and it will bring X amount of visitors to the site. Um, we are the best guys to do that. So, you know, there's no actual meeting to get the dev team to sit with the product team to do this. In Scrum, the yes, everybody can add to the product backlog, but it's the product owner's uh, decision on what gets done. It's the product owner's decision on what's high priority. So it kind of takes away from, you know, any sort of influence the dev team has in the product. And I'm just not a fan of that. Number four, leading and making a decision. So in Scrum, everybody reports to each other in the dev team. So just because someone has more skills or is more senior to someone, it doesn't make that person more important than the other. Um, you know, everyone reports to each other. So um, I'm not a fan of that because when it comes to implementing processes like uh, dev processes, it's just you need a dedicated leader. You need a leader of the dev team. And in this case, there's none. So, um, you know, you could have three, four senior members trying to make a decision. But if they can't come to a consensus just because there's no majority, it's going to be ongoing discussions all the time and I feel that you know you need someone saying look I feel this about it you've get all given valid opinions but we're going to take this route and number five meetings can be too long so you know it goes back to the point about people don't want to sit in meetings for four hours and I feel that you know maybe things can be handled a little bit differently and meetings can be shorter okay so let's dis let's discuss some positives so number one, having a backlog. Um, you know, having a backlog is a great thing. I mean, just listing out everything that you want to do is absolutely brilliant because a lot of the time uh, people just walk over to the dev and say, I want this, I want that, I want this. And, you know, they everything is high priority to everyone. 
but having a backlog giving the uh, giving a chance to the product owner to say this is the highest priority this is high pro you know this is this this that i think it's great number two team decides how much work can be done this is brilliant because i've been in environments where you know a product owner or manager has come over and say this is high priority do this this is high priority do that and i want this done by this day i want this it can be a really stressful position to be in um, with Scrum, it gives you the chance to sit down and as a team decide, well, this is the amount of work we can do without being too stressed or without burning out. And I think that's perfect. Number three, choice of tasks. This is another great thing because, you know, as a dev, you want some sort of variety. You don't just want to come in and do the same thing over and over again. It can get boring. So it's great that you can come in in the morning, see the sprint board and just pick obviously by priority, but pick the task that you want to do. And I think that's excellent. Number four, the daily stand up. So I think this is excellent as well because it enforces people to communicate with each other. You will get introverts in the dev team and you know they may be too shy, too scared to say they stuck with something. But when it comes to the daily stand up, they force to discuss what you know the issues they're having. So it's great. You can identify problems earlier with stand ups. Number five, the sprint retrospective. I think it's amazing that um, with Scrum, it gives the team the opportunity to grow. It gives the team the opportunity to say, look, this is what we're doing wrong. This is what we can do better. And, you know, a learning team is going to be a better team. They're going to be a stronger team. They're going to be able to provide better work. And I think that is probably the best part of Scrum. So I know I've only discussed five benefits here. There's a ton of benefits, but I think that these five are what is the best to me. So thanks for watching, guys. What do you think of Scrum? Um, let me know in the comments below because everybody has a different opinion. Um, there's a lot of positives on Scrum, but I'm very interested to hear the negatives. So just put it in the comments below and let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.